Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have just stumbled on the channel, why not hit the little subscribe button now? Also a warm welcome to those of you joining us from Clinical Dentistry, the new FMC publication. This channel is full of interesting endodontic cases and so you may want to hit the subscribe button too. In this video presentation I'm looking at obturation and in particular vertical compaction. I'll show you how I obturated this maxillary molar using a vertical compaction technique. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoptive radiograph of the maxillary left first molar. The tooth is being root filled because of apical periodontitis. It's a slightly unusual presentation with the horizontally impacted wisdom tooth sitting at the apex of the distobuccal root. As we know, the key to successful endodontic treatment is thorough disinfection and irrigation. In this case, I'm irrigating with 3% sodium hypochlorite and I'm going to agitate the solution with an endo activator. Cone fitting is carried out through irrigant in the access chamber. I'm trying to feel a sense of tug back when the master cone gets to the full working length. Here I'm confirming that the plugger tip will reach a point 5 to 7 millimeters from the full working length. Here the root canals are being dried with sterile paper points. Some endodontists advocate using alcohol to dry the canals even further. I'm now introducing my pre-measured cones with a little bit of AH plus sealer on the tip. In this case I know that the MB1 and MB2 canals converge and so I'm going to place cones in both of these and obturate them simultaneously. Next it's the down pack. Here I'm searing the cones off at the level of the pulp floor before packing them with a Mac 2 plugger.
The heated plugger is now introduced into the canal and thermoplasticizes the GP as it moves apically to a point 5 to 7 millimeters from the full working length. The apical cork of GP is then plugged with a cold Mac 2 plugger. The process can then be repeated in the other canals. And now for the backfill. In this case I'm using Obtura Thermoplasticized GP, but there are other systems available. The root filling is finished at the level of the pulp floor. The access chamber will then be filled with a restorative material. In this case, I'm going to seal the access chamber with the dual cure composite. I'm doing a full etch of the access chamber before placing activated dual cure bonding agent and then filling the entire cavity with a dual cure composite.
Here we can see the preoptive radiograph of the maxillary left first molar. In the standard view, you can see that there's a good apical coronal seal, and the root canal filling is well condensed. Puffs of sealer that have extruded from the apical foramen show that the canals are all patent. A distal angle view highlights the MB1 and 2 much more clearly and shows where they converge in the apical third. There's also an isthmus between them into which sealer has been introduced during the downpack. There's a cheeky lateral canal at the apex of the palatal root and it's not uncommon to see this with vertical compaction. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because there's going to be many more cases in the pipeline. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and above all, enjoy your endo.